people of God, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I'm Madame Sandra from New Road. I want to thank God for the breakthrough in my life and the life of my sister. 2019, my kid sister traveled out. Before she traveled, it was a very difficult process. Even though she reached out, I was still the one to support her from here. She worked for two years, nothing to show forth. So her contract ended. She called me and promised me that uh, she would get a better job. And she had experience already, so it won't be difficult. Months passed by, nothing. I still had to send her money for transport and other things. Then on the 28th, that's August, she, I got up at, on Saturday and I saw a message on my phone. She just said, Sister, I'm sorry for disappointing you. I've struggled. It is not going. Uh, very soon you'll be picking me up at the airport. I can't continue again. So I called my sister. I called a friend of mine. I, I complained to her. She told me she would take me somewhere. So before I meet her, she said she has gone and I won't see the person again. That the person has kept a message for me. Meaning she was to take me to a witch doctor. So the witch doctor now said uh, she can't do anything. That she's not hearing from her people again. But they should tell me that I need to seek a face of the face of God. Because in the first place... She said in the first place, before my sister traveled out, we didn't seek the face of God. And secondly, we are so divided in the family. There's too much hate. That is why there's a delay in her breakthrough. And thirdly, she would direct me, she would ask me to tell my sister to bring my heart, to send her documents to me through WhatsApp. Let me bring and take to a strong man of God. That if she, as a witch doctor, intervene, it will be temporary. But if a man of God intervene, it will be permanent. No, 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 no. Take that testimony all over again. Start again. Praise the Lord. Start. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. I started by 2019. My kid sister traveled out. Before she traveled, it was a difficult process. She traveled and had a job. Life was so difficult. I was the one supporting her from here. So the contract ended, two years, she worked for nothing. Then she promised me again that she's going to make it, that she believed in her because she already had a work experience. Months passed by, nothing. So Saturday, the 28th of August, she, before I got up in the morning, she sent me a mail. Said, sister, I'm sorry for disappointing you. I've struggled all my life, all along. It is not giving. I'll be coming back, so you'll pick me at the airport. So I got up, I called a friend of mine. She promised to take me somewhere. I didn't know the place. So before I met her, she said she has gone to the place and the witch doctor said she's no more hearing from her people. So uh, she kept a message for me that I will only have to meet a very strong man of God. That she, if she intervenes, it will be temporary. But if there's divine intervention, the breakthrough will be permanent. Who said so? The witch, the witch doctor. Witch doctor. Continue, continue. So I asked now, and she said they should send the documents of my sister. That she asked my sister to send the, her documents that she's using to look for the job um, in WhatsApp. So I asked my sister, she sent the documents. I went to documentation and printed. I said, now I don't know the strong man of God. The rich doctor now said I should go to measure one in my four. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What is that? What is that lady who said, my distractor said she should not come? That how can a man with uh, oil on his hands put on a white shirt or white tricot? What stand there? Uh, give her a chair to see. So which doctor even know me? Yes, it Papa, is... she gave me the, the church program. Which doctor gave you the church program? Hey! Hey! Hear that? Which doctor gave a church program? It never means which doctors know my program? Huh? 
Wednesday, Saturday, and they know we have counseling on Friday. Hey, clap for Jehovah now. Continue, continue. She said, I have to be here on Saturday. Deliverance starts by 1 a.m. Which doctor? Are you hearing? Which doctor said she has to be here? Saturday, 1 o'clock. That deliverance what? Starts at 1 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Sunday, church program, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Which doctor? Yes, Papa. Amen. Amen. Are, are you getting it? So her friend took her to a witch doctor. And she was going to hear what witch doctor would say. No, no, that witch doctor would rather send you back to church. And witch doctor said, you need higher grace. Anyway, continue, continue. So she said, if I come here and the man of God lay hand on the document, there will be breakthrough. So when I was here on Saturday, Papa came and touched the envelope that was holding and said breakthrough. Prophet Silas came and said breakthrough. Prophet Richard came and said breakthrough. I went home. Amen. Amen. Hear this one. Yes. So when I went back on, on Sunday, day breaking Monday, I was tired. I got up. My sister kept a mail that the company that she wanted to work with initially had sent her a mail since 2019 that she should meet them. She has an appointment with them at 10 o'clock. Then other on, emails on, Monday now. on a Monday now. Mm -hmm. Other companies are sending her emails so she doesn't know which to go now. So con there was confusion now. Yes. After we lay hands on Sunday, doors were just opening. May that door open for you. In the name of Jesus. Continue. So I, I told her that when I was in church, I had measures say, yeah, there's no failure. So she should choose the one she wants to go there and go there with faith. So on that Monday, she went there. Tuesday, uh, day breaking Tuesday, I, I heard the message enter my phone. As I opened my phone, I saw her appointment letter. As she went there, they, she saw her document. The document since 2019 was on the table of the HE, as she's saying. Then they asked her, Madam Sudo, where have you been? We have been trying to connect to you to know our view. So. Continue. So they gave her appointment letter and she'll be moving to her accommodation today. So I came to give God all the glory. Can you jam your hands? Amen. Just imagine, just imagine. Uh, her sister called her on the phone and said she's coming home and she should go and pick her at the airport. And she called her friend and her friend rather took her back to a witch doctor. And from that witch doctor, witch doctor sent her back to light because this problem can only be handled by fasting and what? Prayers. And she said on that Saturday, witch doctor said, go there 1 p.m to 6 p.m. and Sunday be there 9 o'clock and she was present you see this could only be God and when I touch I said breakthrough we prophet Silas touch he said breakthrough prophet Richard breakthrough that was Sunday last week seven and remember what we said last Sunday seven days from today you have a testimony today is seven days today is seven days and she's saying when her sister got appointment letter when she got into the company the hd said hey where have you been we've been looking sending mails trying to get to you no way since 2019 do you think there was problem with network no i tell you when the veil that covers you meet a consuming fire when the lion of judah comes all other lions will run away i speak to you today I prophesy to you today. May your case be located in the name of Jesus. Someone watching me right now. Your case is settled. Your case is settled. Your case is settled. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Which doctor gave her the program of the church? Huh? Hey. Huh? They say we are false. Have your seat. They say we are false. Rather, darkness is rather giving you description to light. The Bible says even demons tremble with fear. They believe God exists. Huh? Hear what their own distractor said. They don't go. Where did you meet your own distractor? Where? My four junction. The junction again? Because I could not stand. I was very sick. So mm -hmm. my husband said I should take a bike and meet and sit in that store. Mm. Let him come and meet me. Let's take a taxi. That home. was where the store, that's not discouraging you. Yes, I went and sat there. I was waiting for him to take his own bike and meet me. And go, go, you find him. When I'm blessing water. Since last week they have been texting me a lot. Man of God, you are not blessing water again on screen. Man of God, please. When I say, who is he? They don't answer. I said, since last week, they're putting pressure on me. Man of God, you're not blessing water. Man of God, you're not blessing water again. Man of God, please, just bless water after the service. We'll be happy with you. When I say, where are you texting from? No answer. Huh? Huh? Why would you ask my name when I ask your name? You don't want to tell me your name. You see? Tell them when they call. Give them the program of the church. They will tell you they are far. When you ask far away, they'll put off the phone. Huh? You see? And had it been our sister did not rebuke that spirit of discouragement, that spirit of distractors, where do you think she will be? There was a time, there was a time she came, this sister came. She almost she almost gave up. Gave up, sorry. She almost gave up in the old church. Can you remember? Yes, Major, it's very true. Major, that particular day my husband was in church. I did not even know that you prophesied to him that you see him bury me. I was in the I was there in the old church and there was no TV. On there. that plank bench. So he just came home and he was crying. He was hiding it from me. It was after that he told me. And you came that particular day and delivered me from the spirit of death. You see, so wait close to your breakthrough. Satan will make you to meet distractors. Okay, look at this sister. Ah, that was last Sunday. And remember what I told you yesterday? Yes, Daddy. I said I'll today Sunday. What? Daddy, yesterday you told me that I should come for Thanksgiving. I said amen. I never had anything. But as I reached home, somebody blessed me. But did I know you had a testimony? No, Daddy. Huh? No. In the spirit, we feel it before you have it here on earth. Amen. Everyone here, you're having a testimony today. I say everyone here, you will have a testimony today. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In this place. In this place. In this place. We don't know failure. I command open doors in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Anywhere your name has been caged, your name is open today. Your name is open today. Your name is open today. In the name of Jesus. Do you know you are marked for testimony? Are you sure? Say, oh, yes. I'm overwhelmed. I pray, may all those who go to witch doctors, may they discover men of God there. Are you not clapping? So your sister is packing into her what you say what accommodation daddy. today yes daddy. and since 2019 yes. nothing nothing is going yes daddy. so you came to know about this place through a witch doctor daddy, i used to see the place on tv but i did not really have concern okay you used to see it on tv yes, but it was no concern yes, but which doctor gave you concern <laughs> hallelujah She used to see, and she maybe she believed this is magic. This is not real. 
But who made her to believe that it is real? Which doctor? Me, I cannot say clap for them because they have no use for clap. Don't clap for them. You see? And this is common with many of us. We don't believe the woman you are married to is your wife. Till a mad person will meet you and ask you, do you know you have a God sent called a wife? That's when you'll be going and say, but how did Mexican man say my woman a true woman? But if you've been a true, do, 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 do Mex, do this, do Chris woman don't know me. You come back home, you want to come back, you buy uh, 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 meat, come and give your wife now. But can you open up to her and tell her that you met a mad woman and she told you she's your Somebody rise up. Say, oh Lord. Say, oh God. Forgive me for having doubt. Say, oh Lord, change my story. Oh Lord, give me a thanksgiving. Clap your hands and pray. name we pray I said seven days from now your family will meet you here for Thanksgiving I speak in the name of Jesus is somebody receiving say I receive I receive I receive let me hear a loud amen You may be seated. So, but what is your advice? My advice to all is always to seek the face of God. With God, everything is possible. Amen. May God, who has given her and put a smile on her face, may that same God put a smile on your face today. Amen. Any of your relatives going through problem overseas everyone stand up everyone turn around it is done you may be seated thank you lord 